Here we explain the background to three short experiments on laser Doppler anemometry in the Mechanical Engineering Laboratory. In laser Doppler anemometry, or LDA for short, a laser beam is split into two by a beam splitter and the two resulting beams are focused down to form a fringe pattern at the point where the velocity measurements are required. In experiment one, a short focal length lens is placed just behind the intersection point so that an enlarged image of the fringes is projected onto a sheet of paper. In experiment two, the two beams are focused onto a rotating perspex disc. The resulting signal has two components, a low frequency part and a high frequency part. It's a high frequency part known as a Doppler signal that is used for velocity measurement. The frequency of the Doppler signal is proportional to the velocity of the disc at the intersection point of the beams. The low frequency component is filtered out before displaying the signal on the oscilloscope. In experiment 3, the LDA system is used to measure the flow of water in a square duct. The beams are focused to the measuring point and the scattered light on the other side is collected with a photodetector, the direct light being cut off using an opaque patch to cover the direct beams. When the signal is displayed as a spectrogram, it's seen that the Doppler frequency rises and falls as the flow rate in the tube is turned up and down.